Hey guys. Hey guys, it's January 21st. Just got up from a great night's sleep. Uh, I am. You know what hill is this? I'm just east of like the next hill over down the road and over to Smith Hill. I don't remember which one this one's called. Oh man, it's cold as shit out. Um, let's go down here. There it is. <clears throat> Got a little turned around down there. Uh, it's a little ways back. You come to a little intersection, which is obviously a small dirt road. Yeah. Two track, basically. People take the quads and stuff on it. And uh, the sign says, turn right. Mind you, it's a four way. Well, if you turn right, that's not the truck. And it specifically says turn right. So I got a little spun around down there. But I think, thankfully, I got, you know, got hooks and Gaia. Got my ass straightened out. It was 24 yesterday. Got to camp about five. Set up. Um, I got so much food on me, it's unreal. So I'm eating good. Uh, I think I slept around five. Yeah, I think I fell asleep around six. Didn't even know it right away. And uh, I slept like a baby last night. All bundled up in my stuff. So, yeah, today's gonna be a little shorter. I'm just outside the town of Loudon, I believe it is. Uh, Definitely don't need any food or resupply. I might go to the gas station and use the, ba the heated bathroom. It's uh, in the teens right now. So it's definitely cold. Um, yeah, not as big a day today. Probably do at least 17. Like I said, I got plenty of food. Hang on, I think I hit butt twister or something. I got plenty of food. And my next food resupply is already there, 34 miles away. So, I could forward that, but I think what I'm gonna do is just keep on eating as much as I can, which is good for me because I'm burning calories. And uh, I'm gonna be kind of selective on what I take with me. I know my wife packed in some really good stuff. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. Huh? Just moving now. It is almost probably nine o'clock. A little bit of a late start, but I woke up earlier. The sun was hitting the tent. It was warming the inside of the tent up. I was like, yeah, I'm not in a hurry. I'm just gonna lay here and enjoy this. So that's exactly what I did. See a blaze here. See, sometimes you can tell this section of the trail isn't used very much because there isn't even really a designated looking trail area. So you see a blaze and it's basically just, God damn thing, it's turning. So you see a blaze and it basically just keeps on a, a fly spot in the woods. I don't see more blazes. It's a blaze right there. It's kind of pointing this way. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Let you guys go. Talk to you later. You want to know wake you up in the morning? Taking your shoes off and walking across an icy creek. This is just outside of uh, Pike State Forest. Woo. It wasn't too bad. At least the rocks are nice and flat. But uh, yeah, about halfway through, my feet went numb. <laughs> oh, I feel good now in my socks and shoes. It's time to start walking and we get them warmed up again. Got some road walk here. I think there's Kincaid up that way. And uh, earlier I said Latham. It, no, earlier I said, I don't know what I said earlier. I know I got the town wrong. It's actually Latham. I think I said, I don't know. Oh, let's get walking. <laughs> I, might, I might not know where I am, but I know which direction to go.
By the way, guys, so you know, from the east side of Smith Hill where I camped last night, to when you come out of Pike State Forest right here, crossing that creek, very unmaintained. Um, the old blood hand. There are uh, briars everywhere. They're walking you through tons of blowdowns. You can tell the trail isn't used much through there because it's barely worn. Um, yeah, just slow me down a lot. It's already like 11.30. I think I'm going to walk for two and a half hours and oh, maybe four miles. So i trying to make up something now. Might stop at a gas station, get some Gatorade, use a warm toilet. And just uh, maybe throw a little power into my, into my uh, camera without having to use my battery packs. All right, see you later. Hey guys, found a little spot in the sun. Just set up camp a little bit early, let things dry out and warm up. Um, this road right here and the NCT is just 50 yards down here. Uh, go, both go to um, Pike, Pike Lake Campground. Uh, just found this nice little spot out here. Figured I'd set up, relax for the day. All I gotta do is, you can't barely see, where was the sun? Hey, a little bit better. There's a sign right there. It says a uh, rock garden, I think. Yeah, rock garden. Shoot right down there. The NCT is right down there in the intersection. So I'm just gonna camp here for the night. Relax, stretch out a little bit, filter some water, get something to eat, all that good stuff. Got a little bit of reception here too. Just uh, in case you guys are wondering about this area. Uh, I got a uh, one bar LTE right here. So, all right, talk to you later. Hey guys, January 22nd. Uh, it's like 8.30 in the morning. All right, so the trail is right through there. Blue blaze on that big tree down there. And it actually goes down this way. However, as you can see, they've been clearing and they basically pushed everything down onto the trail. You can see a, there's a blaze right there. So I can get it in focus for you. Yeah, blaze. So, I'm just not gonna be on trail there. I'm gonna go up this little road here and see where this takes me. Maybe I can connect back onto the trail or something. I don't know, it's, it's a mess. So, just let me figure out what's going on. This is what I've been running into lately down here in uh, Pike County. Uh, um, yeah, okay. I'll let you go. I don't want to trip and bust my ass. I'll talk to you later. Here, here's a quick video because my hands are freezing. I am at Pike Lake State Park right here. Now, the video before where they had bulldozed over the trail, uh, that bulldoze line basically follows the trail. So you have a couple of options when you get to a certain point. There's going to be a rock berm and the bulldozer road goes steeply downhill. That will take you down to the road that takes the Pike Lake. Or right there, if you look to your right, there's a blue blaze, which is the way I went. You can get back on the uh, Buckeye Trail and the NCT right there to the right. If you do that option, there's another option. It's going to cross to the power lines. If you look down the power lines, you can see the road. <laughs> the Buckeye Trail crosses those power lines, goes around, and comes back across those power lines again. So it's up to you which way you want to go. All three routes will take you right back down to the road. Just wanted to show you that real quick. Uh, other than that, it's freaking freezing out. My fingers are cold. You can see all the ice on my mustache and my beard. So I'm going to put my phone away and just keep on walking. Good. That's all there is to do. Bye. Woo no country trail. Let's see what's on the other side of the side. Oh, horse is prohibited, that's it. Huh. Alright, looks like it goes this way. It's been a pretty nice walk today. Um it's been all woods walk so far. Which is cool. Looks like I got a little stream to ford, gotta get over there. Uh-huh. So
Looks like the best spot might be over there. There's another little trail that goes this way. Let's see what's going on here. I'll take you with me for a second. Get over here. Okay, that trail scoots on up that way. Looks like this might be a pretty decent area. See if I can take you with me without busting my ass. I know these rocks are gonna be slick. That's the only problem. Just looking for the best rocks. And then sometimes you just gotta say, fuck it. Yeah. That's real narrow up there. I just don't want to get my feet wet. I had to take my boots off yesterday go through a stream <laughs> oh that is real narrow right there all right Let's see how. oh yeah this gonna jump across right here Get back to the trail. Not a biggie. Oop. Just got popped in the face. All right. Oh, I love that sound. Isn't that pretty? It is pretty. It's narrow, but not. You know. uh, I've, I've, I've been on so many slick rocks and busted my butt. That's the only issue I have. I'm a little gun shy on it now. All right. But if you rub the rocks, it's slick now. Sometimes you can get through, I ain't getting through that one. Hmm. Screw it. Probably gonna regret this, but I'm just gonna go. Yeah. Let's see how slick this rock is. Woo! That's not very slick. That's good. Look at this one. That's not bad. Alright. I'm just gonna jump it. Oh, God. Woo! Alright. Not bad. Uh, let's go back over to the trail over there. Talk to you later. Uh, blazes tell you to do turn right right there's the trail why would you put a turn right blaze going up here when the trail is on the left oh man uh, I got nothing else to say